Hey there friends, it's Vanessa from Vanessa Jordan Photography. Welcome back to my channel and on this channel I teach you all the graphic design skills you'll need to have your business excel. So today is the last video of the website challenge that I have been doing for the past month and where we went through a Squarespace Wix and Show It site and taking all the same branding and the same business and trying to build three different websites. And like I said in these past videos, I really just built the front page and kind of dove into the different areas of a website that is really important to think about when building one. So I will show the three um, screenshots of the last um, go through of these um, <laughs> of these sites and you guys have decided which one you did like and I will put that right here. Congratulations to this winner. <laughs> um, and we'll talk about it more in the group. So if you haven't joined the makers of the making of designers club, my Facebook education group, the link is down in the description and make sure you join so you can continue the conversation over there with everyone. So this video, I'm just kind of recapping and telling my final thoughts on what I felt in this kind of experience. So like I said before, I personally have a Squarespace site and so I know the ins and outs of Squarespace even though I do look up new things all the time as one should. Um, and I have had a Wix site at one point. I've had friends and colleagues that have a show it site so I do have a tiny bit of knowledge and I've helped them troubleshoot some things. So this was more to kind of figure out what would be the best for not for everyone, but to kind of show all these different ranges of website platforms and what are most user friendly. So today we are going to rank these as um, most user friendly, because that's the biggest one. Um, does the blog, how, um, how well does the blog work and could I even get on it? And how is the design? Was the design easy to use? Um, did it look very well or did it look really well? And was it easy to look or was it easy to transition from both mobile and desktop? Because those are two things that we really need to think about in this day and age because a lot of people are on their phones. So first let's talk about Squarespace as if I haven't talked about Squarespace enough. Um, Squarespace has award-winning designer templates that we can use. And again, this is not sponsored in any way, not sponsored, not sponsored. I'm just going to put this all over the screen that it's not sponsored. I am just sharing my love for Squarespace and what, and this is not to bash these other platforms either because I know other people that use them and they really enjoy it. And I just wanted to see for myself if it's something that I'm missing out on or if it's something that you would benefit on. So Squarespace, I've always said that their design quality is amazing because they are award-winning designer templates that can be adapted for any business. I mean, you saw like that, that template that we used is very similar to what I use for my photography page. So you can really change these designs into anything. Like it doesn't, they don't seem very cut and dried, like this is for photography and this is for that. Like, no, like you can change them. And that's kind of what all these templates have been. But there are elements that already dropped in that you may not need. Um, but that's with any website template. And that's just something that you need to think about when you're going in. That there's go it's going to take work and it's going to take time. So I think... Squarespace nailed it on the head for design and it definitely transitions well between desktop and mobile because you don't have to worry about it. You don't have to design those both individually. Um, as for the blog, the blog is very, very easy to use and you can plan stuff ahead. You could have people log in and type new posts and they can be reviewed. They can be marked up. Like this is meant for a collaboration on your blog if that's what you want. But if not, you can always schedule them ahead and just have this wonderful content that's beautifully laid out in the same fashion as the website works. So the website works very similar on how things are configured and laid out as it is in the blog post. And again, if you would like to see that in a future video, let me know down below and I'll dive deep into a blog post and how to configure that for Squarespace. 
So Squarespace gets a check mark for that as well. And as for the user usability, I find that Squarespace is really easy to use and it breaks it down very easily. And even if things are, are kind, kind of confusing, you can always contact their customer service. They are super, super friendly and super responsive. I have had many issues in websites in the past and I've just contacted them and they've been super, super helpful and super responsive in which that's what you want for your website provider and for a good customer service. So I would say that Squarespace gets all the check marks. <laughs> And I, I know you may seem, it may seem like that is because I do have a Squarespace site, but, um, you guys decide for yourselves. Let me know down below, like which website you think nails it on the head and which one you don't think does. So for Wix, Wix is great, honestly, cause it's visually, it's vis you can visually drag and drop things wherever you want and configure it for both mobile and desktop. You can hide things on mobile. It's just, it is very user friendly, totally user friendly, and you can easily figure out things and where they go. The blog works well, except you just can't schedule anything ahead. And most businesses need to schedule things ahead in order to run. Like how, why would you not want to schedule things ahead? That just cause you, causes you so much more stress that you don't want. So that is, God, that is a downfall for the blog. Like the blog is beautiful and it works and it's great. And you edit it all right there on the same place, but it doesn't schedule ahead, which that's kind of sad. And, um, as for the design, all those Gwix design designer templates are very beautiful as well. And they are configured for mobile as well, but those have more issues to go awry because you can edit those both specifically. I mean, you can on Squarespace too, but Squarespace does a really good job of making sure things like flow easily into a small, into a mobile size. Whereas Wix, you have so much control over everything that one wrong move can really make, make or break things. So there's that too. But Wix does have a good customer support, customer service as well. So if anything does go awry, you can contact them as well. So I would say the one of the only knocks for Wix is that their blog, you can't schedule a blog post in advance. And that kind of stinks because if you want that, because Wix is kind of a cheaper alternative as in price range. Um, but that but do you want to spend more time on your blog or do you want to schedule it and leave it? So that's kind of up to you. And last is show it. Let me say show it sites look gorgeous. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. These sites are really beautiful and I love to look at them. Like I look at all my other friends who have show it sites, all my friends, photographers who have show it sites and they're really just so pretty. And I'm just like, I want all of that. But that doesn't mean I'm not happy with my site. I am very happy with it. Um, and I'm not jumping ship. <laughs> so show it can be easy to figure out, but I feel like it's easy for a designer to figure out because if, as we looked on those panels on the side, it had a lot of pixel measurements. It had, it looked very similar to InDesign, to be honest, like how things are. But another knock about show it is that ordinary people don't know those skills to really be able to dive in and kind of connect the dots on where things are supposed to be. So it's really meant for some, for you as a business owner to hire a designer to go in and deal with it. And then you maybe take a, do a few tweaks here and there, which in all honesty, I would rather be full control of my website and to be able to change things myself. So that's, that's kind of a downfall on that. It's very designer forward, yet it's what a lot of photographer businesses push for, push you to have. And it's just kind of like, well, that's kind of sad. <laughs> I mean, that's great that you hire a photographer or hire a graphic designer to help you. And that's great to support other entrepreneurs, but 
if you want to, if you want to have full control and especially when you're first starting out, that's not, um, that's not money that you're going to have. So you may want to invest in a Wix or Squarespace that you know that you can design yourself and you can figure it out yourself. And another knock to show it is that things get very repetitive. And if you don't want to look at both, you have to edit both sides. You have to edit mobile and desktop. You can't just edit one and it'll transfer to the other. Like they both work almost independently, which that's kind of repetitive in my opinion. But I mean, then you can make things very systematic on what shows up on mobile versus um, your desktop which is good and bad. But again, that would be something that you really want to dive into with your designer and um, have kind of a marketing plan. So I feel like show it would be like a next step if you really want to go into that strategic planning, but you can go with strategic planning on these other platforms as well. So it's kind of a give and take. Um, and as for the blog for show it, I couldn't show you it because I would have had to publish the site and that's not what I'm going to do. <laughs> and then they would assign me a blog and that's a separate entity that you need to log into separate from editing the website. So, and I know you can plan ahead, um, WordPress, um, blog posts and that's great. That's wonderful. But wouldn't you want to have it all in one place? Wouldn't that be easier? That's just my opinion. Like I don't want to log into 12 different places to just do one task, to do different tasks on one website. Like if I'm planning different Instagram posts and planning Facebook, like I understand that they can be separate or whatever, but wouldn't you want it all in one place? <laughs> um, so all, all in all, all of these websites are really, really beautiful. And really, no matter what you pick, you're going to get a beautiful website. Either way, you're going to look professional and you're going to look legit. Um, they both are user friendly to an extent. I would say show it really doesn't have a ton of user friendly qualities. You really need someone who understands web design and can figure out everything for you, which that's kind of unfortunate, especially if you're a beginning entrepreneur who wants to do everything themselves and doesn't have the money to spend and hire a graphic designer to do their website. In addition to them paying for the whole platform to use. Whereas show it in Wix, you'll be able to do that yourself and they definitely have a better user friendly experience. And, um, as for the blog, they all work. They all do what they want but some have different qualities and different things that you can do with it than others. Whereas Squarespace has the plan ahead, like scheduling things ahead. They can plan, it can post to different social media accounts. I'm sure um, WordPress can do the same thing. Wix, I'm not a hundred percent. I don't think they can, but they, Wix can schedule ahead. So there's that. So they all have their good and bad qualities. But for me, the winner is Squarespace. It does just look beautiful and custom and just fits with what this brand was looking for. I mean, it's a fictional company, but still it fits within it and it just looks really beautiful and it's easy to use. It's just all in all easy to use. And if you don't know a lot of things, they have a ton, a ton of content to figure it out. And you can ask their customer service and they'll help you. And it's just, it's just wonderful. So let me know down below which website is your favorite. And if there were any things that I didn't touch on for these different platforms that you may have experienced in your designing or that you've just heard from other people, let's continue the conversation and see if we can find the best website platform for you. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you head to the link in the description to join the Makers of Designers Club. You want to check it out and continue the conversation on. You can follow me at Vanessa Jordan Photo on Instagram and make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any new graphic design skills that you can learn to excel your business. So until next time, bye guys.